Hello everyone and welcome to Edusa Clinics. I am Dr. Gunjan Desai. I am a consultant, gastrointestinal and HPV surgeon at Lilati Hospital, Mumbai. A very commonly asked question in our clinics is, can we prevent cancer? Or what are the common symptoms and signs which should prompt a visit to a doctor so that you can identify the cancer early? So we will discuss some of these points in this brief video. I am sure it is going to help a lot of you. So focus for action against cancer in India especially has been on these five cancers for males and females. The reason being that these are the most common cancers in the world, very common in India. So women breast cancer, lip and oral cavity, cervical cancer, lung and stomach for men, lip and oral cavity, lung, stomach, colorectum and esophageal. So GI cancers are relatively more common in males than in females. Now, these are the most common cancers and they apply for approximately 50% of all cases that we see in our practice. So, the aim of identifying cancer early is focused on identifying these cancers early. Can it be prevented? The answer is yes to a certain extent. Can it be screened or detected early? The answer is definitely yes. So, know your risk factors, know the symptoms and signs, meet the doctor early. And there is a high chance that you can detect the cancer early. So across all systems, not only the gastrointestinal tract, the common risk factors are tobacco and alcohol. So that is why most of the doctors will tell you to quit alcohol and tobacco. But the reason is that it causes a lot of other diseases as well as is a common etiological factor for most of the cancers in the body. Obesity and physical inactivity is again leading an epidemic of cardiovascular diseases, strokes, early sudden cardiac deaths, as well as cancers. There are multiple infections that can occur. You have seen COVID and what it can cause. Infections causing cancers, the most common ones are human papilloma virus and H. pylori and hepatitis when it comes to liver cancer. Why we need to remember these infections? Because there are vaccines available which can help prevent these cancers. When we talk of red flag signs, basically these are the signs that prompt you to meet a doctor. So if there is long-standing cough or change in voice, basically long-standing is say more than three months of cough or change in voice. If there is long-standing sore throat, if there is long-standing difficulty in swallowing or evacuation, if there is unexplained weight loss or loss of appetite, change in bowel or bladder habits such as persistent diarrhea or persistent blood in stools or blood in urine, if there is unusual bleeding from any side of the body or a discharge from any side of the body where it should not be normally present, feeling of lumps anywhere in the body. If you have a strong family history, this is one of the very important data points that we can use to target this population for screening. Okay, So if you have any of these symptoms, basically the symptoms from nose, that is cough, sore throat, mouth, esophagus, swallowing, loss of appetite and unexplained weight loss, lower GI, bowel and bladder habits, Bleeding from any part of the body, lumps anywhere in the body. Easy to remember. Family history of cancer is one of the most important points that we need to stress upon because if we identify them early, we can put them into screening program. So based on these risk factors and the causes of cancer, the common preventive measures are exercise at least 30 minutes in a day, climb stairs 15-20 times. If you are doing that, change your diet, add antioxidants, avoid excessive hot beverages. Goal should be to stop alcohol and smoking target, so at least reduce it frequently. Increase fresh fruits and high fiber vegetables in your diet. So healthy diet, exercise, control diabetes if you have diabetes and weight monitoring. If you see unplanned weight loss and if you see Unplanned loss of appetite, they are one of the important markers to meet your doctor to rule out cancer. Screening and self-assessment, I always say, is the key to have cancer incidence to go down in future. Family history of cancer or personal history of 
polyps or personal history of a cancer in the past. These are important points where the patient should be on lifelong screening. So personal history of disease, family history of cancer. When it comes to lumps, especially in the breast in females, self-examination has been described. It helps in identification of disease early. Like I said, the cancer producing viruses or the risk factors for cancer in the form of viruses can be controlled with the help of immunization, which is easily present for human papilloma virus and hepatitis B virus. So all these points can help you in reducing the incidence, preventing cancer, or at least detecting it early.